So Leah's, let's continue with your reading. So what we're seeing here is that we have you in the, uh, uh, having to do with some sort of a dishonesty, some sort of a, um, fraud, um, with a Aries person, whoever this Aries person is, whatever that is going on. A lot of you are going to be confronting yourself that something that you have done was not based on honesty. This is going to be coming up. In the house of money, a government institution organization is recognizing that there was some sort of a deceptiveness that was caused by either you, Leos, or you, Leos. Um, as you recognize that in the house of money, you, Leo women, or in the house of money, there was some sort of a um, dishonesty surrounding money is going to be coming out. When we look at uh, um, the energy and frequency of the third house, uh, there is some sort of an unexpected situation that is going to be coming up um, where a lot of you could be winning the lottery. If, you're buying the, if you are dealing with buying the lottery, that sort of a thing, you will um, yeah, unexpectedly receive some money. At home, there is going to be a whole lot of problems. They're now going to be finding out the secrecy of a cancer woman. This cancer woman is now praying and praying. But what this cancer woman doesn't understand is that she has done things and uh, pull uh, the wool over other people's eyes in order to gain something. And it is now, it's like something that happened a very long time is now coming out. Then when we look in your house, Leo, there's a lot of conflicts, 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 conflicts. It says if this season for you, Leos, this timeline for you, Leos, this year that is about to begin for you, Leos, is going to be um, consist of a lot of conflicts. A lot of you, Leos, are going back to apologize to someone, but this person do not want the apology, okay? Then when we look in um, the sixth house, the sixth house is going to be a lot of you are going to be happy, happy um, in your relationship, happy with where you are. A lot of you are going to be happy. A lot of you be aware because a Virgo woman, a lot of you Leos could be moving in with a Virgo woman. I see that is when your financial abundance is going to be rolling. Then when we look in the seventh house, the seventh house, uh, some of you could be getting married, thinking about getting married. But for some of you, it is going to be positive. For some of you, it could be an illusion um, that someone is trying to hold you in an illusion. So this could be a liberal person. Um, this could be someone you have been going with for quite some time. They are going to be looking at you in the sense of putting an illusion in order to keep a relationship going, okay? There's a lot of partying and that sort of a thing that is going to be going on. Then when we look in the eight house, the energy of the eight house, it has to do with seeing the truth, um, seeing the truth about a situation concerning a Libran and how a Libran and a Cancer or a Libran and a Scorpion could have collaborated to do um, things that was not above water. Okay, so you got to be aware, Leo, there is all of this that is coming in. There's a lot of abundancy coming up for this new year. This new year begin in the month of September, of uh, August, September. Uh, it begin right after your birthday. So, so there is going to be a lot of fortune that is going to be coming up, uh, but they're now going to be recognizing how a Libran, and if you were in a relationship with a Libran, or a liberal in your family, they're going to be recognizing what has been going on. In the ninth house, the ninth house is a very beautiful house, but there's a lot of sadness, liberal, uh, Leos. There's a whole lot of problematic situation, Leos, that is going to be happening and transpiring. Um, for some of you, Leos, you could be caught for doing something. Some of you, Leos, try to get some sort of a new start and you're going to be caught. Um, so be aware. Then when we look in the 10th house of work and career, I see a lot of you, Leos, are working against uh, other people in order to get some sort of a new start for yourself. I see this, this situation 
um, that is coming up where a lot of you Leos are really going to be working in um, a sort of a way where you are working in order um, to create uh, some sort of an illusion for another person in order to get some sort of a new start for yourself. But be aware of this because it is going to be coming back to you. Then when we look at the house of the Aquarians, so I see that an Aquarian is going to be finding out what you have done. And this Aquarian is as if some of you who were dealing with an Aquarian, it can be an Aquarian person, but it can be some of you try to get some sort of a new start with an Aquarian person. Um, this person is going to be recognizing that you have been using them. Okay. And this is a situation for someone that is listening to me because you're always um, on my uh, website and uh, on my my channel you lied to an Aquarian you're an evil person you have recognized um, this person weakness that this person is um, like the alcohol the drugs and sex and you have used this person weakness to roll them in a you know that this person is divinely guided this person came to this planet to do the right thing. And you use your manipulation of alcohol, drugs, and sex and manipulate this person. This person's eyes is going to be open. And the thing about it is because this man is a divine masculine. Now, whenever and at this timeline, divine masculine and feminine came to this planet in order to heal this planet okay and uh, your form of nasty sex because that is just nasty um uh, you know the thing about it is that you guys thought that divine feminine was dumb and was not aware divine feminine just wanted to know and see who it is because divine feminine was aware of what you and divine masculine was doing okay and you have used so much witchcraft in order to hold this person for this person not to elevate and to find their divine divine life purpose you know what this man is here to do and you manipulate this man by using alcohol drugs and sex and money because that's the only thing you wanted from this person, but you recognize his weakness. This divine masculine was under the control of your witchy, um, because you're a witch, you are no divine feminine. So lady, lady, man, woman, whoever you are, you are no divine person. You are someone with a, a soulless soul. Okay, you have no soul. Okay, you're dark. You have dragged this divine person, the star seed, to be a fallen angel. Okay, this is what you have done to this person. You are not divine. You told this person that you um, were good, and this person was not even aware that you were a fucking little witch. You were using um, uh, witchcraft in order to keep this divine masculine from the divine feminine. Okay. The divine feminine is aware of who you are and how long you have been going on, you and this man together. And the most thing about the situation is that divine um, feminine is like divine masculine have lost his way that is the only reason why divine feminine came to this planet is to help to um get all the star seeds back on track and you as a witch because you're not you're you're no divine divine feminine is not born under the fire signs okay so again i will repeat you are no divine feminine divine um, uh, masculine and feminine are not born under no fire sign, no Aries, no Leo, no Sagittarian, Alain Ophiosis. Okay, so a lot of people do not understand this. 
divine masculine and feminine are not born under the fire sign they will have fire in their birth chart but they're not born under the fire sign and you thought that you were you a blindfold this man because it's a star seed using witchcraft and div divination tools to manipulate this person you use sex to hold this person because whenever this person is have no intention whenever this person you have drained this um divine masculine of his uh, um money and the problem is that this situation divine masculine is losing everything because of you um uh leo okay it's because of you leo the problem and the situation with the situation is that the universe is stepping in. Okay. The universe is going to be stepping in. And here is where the universe stepped in and said, nope, you are not divine masculine counterpart. You are not the divine feminine or the divine masculine for this man. This man is a star seed. You need to let go. Here is where the universe and the Holy Spirit step in and it's going to be ending this collaboration and the lies that you have been telling this man that he is your divine masculine and feminine. No, he and you are karma. Okay. You see, the problem, Leos, is that you have used this man weakness. And this is what a lot of people, they use people weakness in order to hold a person. And what you use to hold this divine masculine is to have these orgy, these same-sex relationship, having you and another woman, you and another man. And this is what you use to hold this person. But ladies and gentlemen, when you come to a certain stage of your life, you're going to be recognizing it's no longer fulfilling. And whatever is going on, this divine masculine is awakening to who he is and what he is here to do. He is recognizing that you are a witch whore, okay? You are a witch whore. And fire signs are the ones who comes as witches. And you witches are very brutal. And this is what Divine Masculine is going to be finding out that you have been using black magic, witchcraft against Divine Feminine. Okay, because this divine feminine is a reader and this divine feminine is going to be recognizing that you because divine feminine is aware of what you have done. Okay, there is twice in the present of divine masculine that divine feminine pass out. Divine feminine was hurt. Now, what you and divine masculine is not aware of is that divine feminine could have died and the day divine feminine died they're going to be looking at both of you you were the one that create that witchcraft for divine feminine to fall from and and break whatever you you leo that is watching me so they're on to you okay i've seen you in the divine feminine is now recognizing and recognize two weeks before this divine feminine fall. She saw you in the dream and the horrible look that you were looking at her. She knew it was you. You and divine masculine thought that divine feminine was not aware of who you are, but divine feminine was aware of who you are. But listen, lady, you're going to be feeling the pawns of hell because you have now um, recognized that divine feminine is protected from the universe. And if you recognize your life is spinning out of order because the universe do not play with the people who works against divine feminine. So if you recognize you're about to lose everything just like divine masculine, um, is losing everything. It's because of you. Okay. All right. You have brought divine masculine to become now a fallen angel. And it is you 
who are behind this. So Divine Masculine is not aware of your witchcraft and evil things, and I think he is, but he cannot really recognize. And you are going to be recognizing that everyone, because everyone knows that you are the villager. And Divine Masculine is now going to be finding out that not only did you use witchcraft and work against Divine Feminine, but also did it against him. And this is when the universe stepped in and said, no, nope, it's not happening. No more. No more. Okay? The fall that Divine Feminine have, they're going to be recognizing that you did witchcraft against Divine Feminine. Okay, because you and Divine Masculine had a plan. You are you both have collaborated a plan. It's not working out. So for all the people that you have fooled and you have um bring the illusion over, Divine Feminine was aware of what you and Divine Masculine and who you were. So the next time you part cross Divine Feminine part, you are going to be finding out uh, who is God. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, that was for a woman that says sit to listen and to listen and to listen because she and Divine Masculine just thought that they, and Divine Feminine has walked away and let it be. Okay? So there. But it's not going to happen, lady, because it, you it's not your Divine counterpart. He was never for you, okay? You've got to understand something about this divine masculine. This divine masculine is here to learn everything. Divine feminine on the opposite. He is the negative. Divine feminine is the positive. This man who is the, doing the thing is the divine masculine that is in his lower frequency, lower energy. This uh, divine feminine that is in lower energy you are no divine feminine, okay? You are a witch, okay? You are from this hurt. You're from this planet. People who are from this planet, you can recognize, especially Aries and uh, Leo, you're hurt people, okay? You're from this hurt. You don't understand. And if you notice, the sun is what protects you, Leos. The sun... Um, is the universal source okay aries is energy of mars mars had uh mars had blown up and the people from mars came to hurt so you all are earthlings okay aries and leas are earthlings now sagittarian and opiosis they are uh, they can come from different solar system and so different solar planets, okay? So, as we break down the months, in January, there's a, there is in, in, in uh, August, September, there, whenever you begin this year, Leo's, the, the month of September is going to be a rigid month for most of you. A whole lot of problems, recognizing, seeing, within yourself that you're not being honest. Then when we look at uh, October, a whole lot of situations surrounding a bank financial institution is going to be coming up that you guys have to deal with. Okay, a whole lot of problems um, for some of you, not all of you. For some of you, who you know who you are. There's going to be a whole lot of problem concerning a financial institution. When we look at uh, um, August, uh, September, August, uh, September, October, November, there could be some sort of an opportunity where you could be winning um, the lottery. So if you do a scratch off, that sort of a thing, you could be winning, unexpected win. Then when we look at the month of December, December is when the truth is going to be revealed. It's when the universe of the highest spirit, because there's something about a Leo woman and her daughter. This daughter is now praying because they all now recognize that you, Leo woman, and your daughter had lied. 
whoever you said you were, you are not who you said you were, okay? And that is going to be really hitting in December. In January, a whole lot of conflicts, 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 conflicts. I see a lot of you Leos are trying to go back to people, trying to apologize to people, that sort of a thing. A whole lot of conflicts is going on. Um, conflicts is coming up and it's going on and it's going to be crazy. Then when we look at February, February is a problematic situation. The Virgo is going to be standing their grounds against you Leos but for the rest of you it's going to be positive a lot of you could be moving in and 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 going to live in um together with your partner okay then when we look at March March is a situation where a lot of you are going to there's a lot of party I see going on with a lot of you Leos a lot of party a lot of uh, but it, it's as as if uh, things it's like you are returning, returning to people, things and situation. That sort of a situation is going to be coming up. Then when we look at April, the truth is going to be coming out. And a lot of you Leos, especially you Leo men, that has gotten documentation and information of a scorpion, they're going to be recognizing how much money you were profiting from this person people are now going to be seeing the truth people are going to be recognizing what was going on people are going to be um really gaining an understanding of how a whole lot of you leos could have used a scorpion in order to come you a, a, a come uh gain a whole lot of money then when we look at may a lot of sadness a lot of sadness um, for the people who have been doing very good in your life, it's going to be positive. But for the people who have been playing other people, creating a whole lot of issues for other people, it is not going to be working out in your favor. I can tell you this from now. But for a lot of you um, Leos who have been really positive, that is going to be a really positive um, situation coming out. In the month of uh, uh, June, um, a lot of you are going to be looking for new people to collaborate with. Um, you want to find new people to connect with. I see that is coming up. There is a whole lot of newness. A lot of people um, want to work and collaborate, some sort of a new start. Uh, some of you um, could be having a baby, but the baby a DNA is going to be showing that the baby is not for someone. Um, then we see um, in the month of July, in the month of July, they're going to be recognizing a, a whole lot of dishonesty and uh, they're going to be recognizing that some of you Leos didn't speak the truth and an Aquarian person is going to be walking away from you. Okay, so this for some of you could be happening at this Leo season, but for some of you, it could be happening next uh, um next july it, it, it's going to be happening so um and for some of you that's why you're happy to be in a relationship but it's not going to be working out it is going to be ending in the month of august july august they are th some sort of a relationship some sort of a marriage relationship uh some sort of a twin flame soulmate relationship is going to come to an end because the person is going to be recognizing you are not my divine counterpart you are not my soulmate you are not my twin flame and they are going to be walking away from you leo so leo's that has collaborated co-created some sort of a situation to make it look as if you were someone divine counterpart they're going to be recognizing you are not divine and you are no divine counterpart they're going to be recognizing you or karmas. And I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but fire sign people or karma people, they always interfere in relationship. If you notice, and a lot of people, you are going to be recognizing that because a lot of Leos, uh, Leos and Aries like to be, to intervene in other people's relationship. They know that someone is in a relationship but they still intervene in this relationship, okay? So um, you're going to be recognizing that. You're going to be, a, a lot of truths are going to be coming out, especially people who were pretending to be divine masculine and feminine, people who were holding on, using 
witchcraft, black magic, whatever it is. Uh, um, and, and a lot of you Leos uh, and Aries, Leos, Aries and Sagittarian, believe in black magic and witchcraft because you are an hurt person. Okay. Because you have not, you're not from another solar system. So if you were from an, a star seed solar system or that sort of a thing, then you will understand that that is, uh, um, creating more karmic in your lives. Okay. So Aries people, and if you notice, there's a lot of Aries people and a lot of Leo people who are born look at which sign is the less people those are the divine people okay so ladies and gentlemen um leos for the rest of you leos it is going to be beautiful the rest of you leos are going to be uh, like you have worked out your karmas a whole lot of you because you're born under the sign to clear karmas with other people and a whole lot of you are going to be responding by releasing yourself uh, from your karma and all the people who have released themselves from the karma the universe in the ninth house is going to be giving you a brand new start okay it's as if you're clear your karma you are going to be getting a brand new start a new start and this is going to be good okay so i want to say to you guys please like and shares namaste until next time